for the next month. Okay, we're looking. Rocking boat. Oh, the guy. Oh, the suitcases. Thanks. Oh. Oh, could it be any hotter? <sighs> it's gross. Wow. I just got the bed already. So, this is Thailand. It looks amazing. We're really out in the sticks here, aren't we? Oh, come on, Rach. This is going to be an unforgettable experience. Yeah, well, after a train ride to a cab ride to a boat ride, that was quite an experience in itself. Don't be such a sourpuss. Come on, this place is huge. Yeah, but the words freaky and run down come to mind. You know what? I'm just relieved it's not a hut, OK? Why would it be a hut? I don't know. It's Southeast Asia, teaching children. I expected a hut. This isn't much better. Come on, sis. We're in Thailand. We're saving the world. Enjoy it. All right, how about we just go inside like normal people would do? OK, we're teaching small children the alphabet. We're not curing cancer. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What are you doing? Nothing. Just admiring that cool dollhouse looking thing. It's actually called the spirit house, and it's sacred in Thai culture. How am I supposed to know that? You wouldn't. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, Alex, ignorance truly is bliss. Wow, I'm so glad I'm not related to you two. Wait, I don't get it. Okay. Oh, come on. What are you doing? It's stuck. Probably because it's a piece of crap. Yeah, right. Come on, let me see. Uh, oh, oh, oh! What do you know? Not so ignorant after all, huh? I swear, I'm gonna smack her at some point this summer. Well, wait till she's drunk so it doesn't hurt as bad. Love you, Al. I swear. Judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah. It's not completely unfortunate. Wow, it's so old. How old do you think? Like thousands of years? I don't know. See? I told you it's amazing. Just like the woman at the housing office said. Ugh. I called dibs in the biggest room. Noted. Typical. Well, it only is fair since I never doubted the place. Like I said, it's not completely shitty. You said unfortunate. But I meant shitty. OK, girls, do you want to see the rest of the rooms? I'm just going to remind you guys that I called dibs. Did you? I don't remember that conversation. Jules, do you remember anything about a dibs being called? Ah, uh, uh, no. You know, I, I don't remember anything about that. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be up here. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Huh. It's like a traditional Thai couch or something. Comfy. <laughs> Whoa. It looks really old. Is that gold? No way. It's probably paint. Look, it's chipping right there. It's so cold. It's 
really pretty. Well, if it's an antique, you shouldn't be touching it, Al. You're right. Really? Uh, okay, I'm a little bit creeped out by this. So let's just not touch the thing. I don't want to be responsible for breaking an ancient statue, okay? All right, then we'll go to play that we can go get food, go to town, get tequila shots. What? Sleep. Okay, sleep is in What are you up to? Just waking up, checking in on my little lover. What time is it over there? Noon. Oh, I see you're putting your summer TAing off to good use. Well, you know, the whole reason I'm becoming a professor is so I can have the summers off, not have to wake up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> I remember somebody telling me Thailand is an amazing and magical land. So how are these sisters? crazy and crazier. For breakfast. I'm starving. Oh. What? There's no food in this house. Yep, all we could find was this tea. Hmm. All right, then who wants to go to town? What the heck? It's probably just the wind. Okay? He looks comatose. Except he's standing. Kun Sang up! Ah, you need ing. Nimishaban Kuna up Kun Sang. Cotona up Kun Buying, one woman in Luko and a Kun Kang. Hold on, we don't speak Thai. Oh, um, well, sorry to bother you. Uh, many apologies. Is he okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, he just. Likes to wander off sometimes. Again, very sorry. Thank you. Sawadi ka. Well, that was creepy. But I'm hungry, so let's go. Wow, someone's good at compartmentalizing. You have no idea. Stop here for a sec. I want to look at something. 
สวัสดีค่ะI propose soon. Ew, that sounds awful. No, it's it's a good thing. Would you actually say yes? Well, of course. I mean, we've been together four years, so no. Jeez, I think my longest relationship was. Does five weeks even count? <laughs> you guys ready for another round? Yeah. Oh, she had, like that big um that fishbowl thing with like the giant straws. Yes. Yeah. That sounds yes. like a hangover in a bucket. Sounds like a bucket of fun. A bucket of fun. Fine, fishbone. Guys, <laughs> following us? Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Can you smell that? Does it? No. Don't believe you, but okay. Are you a model? I could be. BRB. Grab your stuff. We are moving spot. Oh, oh, good. We're leaving. No, like we are joining them. No. What? Yes. Yeah, they're nice and they're cute and they're male. Did I mention that they were male? Don't need to remind you that these cute and nice guys were also stalking us about like six hours ago. Rach, are you sure about this? Come on. Yes, I'm sure. They just thought that we were models. Oh. Oh. I don't care what they think that we look like. Okay, I have a boyfriend. You God, look at them! They're so creepy. They won't stop staring at us. They're not creepy. They're British, and that means that they are intelligent. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And besides that, you guys are not going to be ruining this for me. Do you know how long it's been since I've gotten laid? Yeah, a really long time. Okay. So you have to take one for the team here. Come on, Jules. Please. No, I'll, I'll stay with my fishbowl. I didn't want to have to do this. But Vegas. <gasps> 2010. There was lube. There was a swimming pool. And there was an emergency room. That's what I thought. Oh my god. I saved your ass. You owe me. You fucking owe Fine. me. Fine. Fine. 
Okay, but then this is over. We are even. We are even. Even. <laughs> even Steven. Even Steven. Yes. All right. All right. Got the bowl. Do you be back? Okay, back up, Lining. Silent, fine. Pass on the money now. Do you have any drinks in the house? Uh-uh. No. No fucking drinks. <laughs> no whiskey, no vodka. You got some ganja, right? <laughs> no, we don't have any ganja in our house. Look, don't worry, yeah? None of you worry, yeah? Because if I put my hand in my back pocket, Oh, yes. Come on, get up. Get on it. Come on, David. Straight. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're so pretty. It's for me. Drink. Say, knock it back. Woo! Knock it back. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Alright, let me show you how it's Straight done. back. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Professional right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm... No, I, I had a lot at the bottom. Oh, take some. I'm, take some. Huh? Come on. What? Come on, it's okay. What, what's in here? Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Drink. It's just alcohol. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aren't you gonna have some? No, I don't drink. What are you doing, Julia? You crazy bitch. Stay away from me. Byron! You're dead. You're dead! Don't you come near me, don't you come near me. Fuck off away from me. Fuck off away from me with that! Help! Byron! Byron! Stay away from me. No, no, please, please, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that, please. Stay away from me. What are you doing? Ah! 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 Uh, 
Christ, you're up before I am? I know, as shocked as you are. I did not sleep well last night. I had the strangest dream. What kind of dream? Violent. Disgustingly violent. <sighs> Remind me, never to drink from a British man's flask ever again. Yeah. That feels like it was a mistake. I had a similar dream. It was disturbing. I killed Colin. In my dream, I mean. Yeah, I had the same dream. But it was Byron. We were roofied. Those guys roofied us last night, didn't they? I mean, that would explain it. This is why we're feeling so disoriented today. It explains us blacking out. The was so real, though. Oh, uh, I... I honestly feel really sick right now. So where are the guys? down statue. This is bullshit. This doesn't make any sense. What? Well, if, if they robbed us, why didn't they take something more valuable, like computers or, or cell phones or iPods or cash? This just doesn't add up. Yeah, I guess. Maybe they were in a hurry. Grab what they saw. Alex, the statue would be heavy. It's not like an in a hurry kind of thing. This isn't good. No, no, this is... Uh... This is not good, you guys. What the hell happened last night? I mean, first I'm pissed that we killed them, and now I'm pissed that they robbed us. I mean, which is it? Jules, calm down. We'll figure it out. What are we gonna do? If that statue was an antique or something, it'd be worth a lot of money. How much money? I don't know, thousands? I mean, I'm not stupid. I've seen antique road shows. It's not like we're renting the place, okay? The program put us up here and they can't hold us accountable for everything inside. Yes, they can. I think that we should just tell them everything before they think that we took that thing while fleeing the country. Jules, is honesty really the best policy in this situation? Now, I mean, it's not like we're in the right state of mind. Everyone's a little freaked out. I do. Well, what do you think? I guess so. Fine. <laughs> but if we end up in a Thai prison, I'm not digging cockroaches out of your ears. I'm making the call. 
Hello? This is Julia. So listen, somebody broke into our house and they took all of our gold jewelry and even some personal items. Yeah, uh, and I hate to say this, but um, they took that life-size gold statue. What do you mean there is no gold statue? What'd she say? Are we screwed? What, was it like a thousand years old? She said there is no statue. What? Yeah. I told her the whole story. I even described the statue in full detail, and the program housing director said there is no statue at this residence, but she'll look into it. She'll look into it? Yeah. That was it? I think she thought I was crazy or something. So I guess we're off the hook? This can't be right. It was right there. Right? Yeah, I remember it too. I think. You think? Well, I don't know. At, at this point, I... I barely even remember last night, let alone the guys leaving this morning. So yes, I am doubting my memory a little. Look, I know it's been a crazy morning, but I'm hungry. Can we please just go get some food and talk about all this serious stuff later? Yeah, I, I need a break from all this. Okay, let's just get some food and then find out more about the statue later. Why are we trying to replace the statue and the program thinks it was never there? We're not. I just want to find how much that thing was worth. We're not crazy. That statue was in the house. I don't know, Rach. Do we even care what it's worth now? It's gone. I already feel guilty enough. Yes, isn't this bugging you? I mean, where did it go? The guy stole it, remember? Yeah, I thought that too, but something just feels off. Excuse me, sir. Um, do you have any of these, but made of gold? Oh, yeah. Many, many statues. What do you like? Very good price. Uh, like this, but, but made of real gold and like a child. Yes? No, like a very young looking little girl. Um, like her size. But real gold, not paint. Real child, real gold? Yeah, do you, do you know what that means? What, what kind of statue that is? No. I don't have any more. Don't sell here anymore. Okay. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about, though? Do you understand? Understand, yes. But we don't have. We don't do that here. Good shop. Very good shop. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, now we can all get murdered. 
murder together. What is this place? It's disgusting. I don't know. Man, it looks like some sort of abandoned village or something. She's not out of breath. I don't know. She's a child. Oh. <sighs> I think she wants us to go inside. Thoughts? Well, we're here, aren't we? For a statue, it's gold like a child. You got one? Not like that. Um, this one's different. It's uh, it's gold like um, like like this, real gold. I don't think I have what you want. The little girl from the market implied that you would. The little girl. She's right there. She was right there. Alex. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Let's go. Yeah, uh, um, whatever, thank you. We're just gonna go. Stop! This is the golden statue. Just like you said. Yes, that's it. What is it? Kumari, the golden girl. Is that gold real? Yes. Very special. Very rare. Very old. So I guess you're not selling it then? Not for sale. Very, very good luck. Is this why you want one? No, we had one. But we lost it, or it was stolen. We're not really sure what happened to it. How did you get it? Did you buy it on the black market? What? No, it, it was in her house. Kumari is meant to be worshipped. Born from a very dark place. It is meant to bring light. It's just a statue. Not just any statue. It chose you. You know what? I've, I've had just about enough of this... Kumari is a child of great sacrifice, but it is a child no less. It feels jealousy, anger, resentment. Kumari led you here. She escaped. Lady say what? The little girl. She is a vision, not real. Bullshit. She is following you. She is your statue. You let her out. What the hell are you talking about? <sighs> These are for your protection. You must wear them to keep her out. The Kumari. She has turned on you. She is ready to take her revenge. Okay, I've had enough freaky caution for the day. Yeah, right behind you. You know you sound nuts, right? If you knew what it took to make a Kumari, 
you would see things differently. So what now? I guess we go home. Great. That sounds like a blast in half. Alex, what are you doing? What? You're seriously gonna trust some piece of junk given to you by a drunken old woman to keep you safe? Please. Whatever. It's your funeral. Hang on, okay? I'm gonna put you where everyone can see you. All right. So, Julia tells me you guys want to know a little bit more about this Thai legend, the Kumari. Yeah, we're getting more into the culture. Oh, yeah? Because I thought it was some creepy old lady that told you a uh, ghost child was haunting you. Well, it, it was that, too. I filled him in. Obviously. All right, well, turns out this is some pretty serious shit, all right? When a kid died violently in some horrific accident or whatever, what they would do, they would take the body, cover it in blood, dry burn the bones, and encase the damn thing in gold. All for the, this ritual, the Kumari. Supposed to bring good luck. That's gross. And it gets worse. A lot of necromancers, they wanted more children. So what they would do, they would go out there and actually start murdering. And eventually, the Thai government banned the practice, but they still do it. They sell them on the black market for thousands of dollars. Oh my god, that's why that old lady asked where we got it. It was actually supposed to be worshipped. And uh, what I hear, you guys kind of failed on the worship part let it get away oh my god it was stolen how is that our fault well the old witch said that we let it escape so maybe that's what she meant i don't think it physically escaped i think it had to do more with the spirit of the child like he was trapped yeah no one wants revenge best advice i can give you shane shane oh shit my computer just died did that really just happen? Yeah, what are the odds? He's like, you guys should, then zap. Thank you, Alex. That was a super helpful recap. OK, new plan? We move. As in leave this house? Yes, as in we go to the housing office tomorrow and we ask to be relocated. I mean, do you think they're going to be OK with that and not just think we're three spoiled Americans who couldn't make it to the working part of our volunteer work? I really don't care what they think. Thai statue or no statue, this, this house, uh, it's giving me a really bad feeling. The Brits and the old man and, and the statue. Well, the Brits were my fault. That's true. And Alex's. Oh, really? You know what? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Everything about this just screams, get the hell out.
bathroom, I saw her, and there was suddenly a girl. I couldn't get out in there, and there's a stain in the closet, and it's her crying. And I... hey. Rachel, I saw her in the water, and then in the mirror, it was the girl. Hey! Hey, everybody, shut up! Julia, get dressed. Go! What is going on? I don't know. I can't stay here. I'm seriously freaked out right now. Me too, but where are we gonna go? It's the middle of the night. I thought we were in freaking Bangkok with a stick of time. Well, then we'll call a cab and we'll have it take us somewhere more populated. Who has a cell phone? How had services I got here? Shit. We're sleeping upstairs. All right, safety in numbers. And then... I think we need to go see that old man. No, 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 no. Yes. No! You said we were just gonna switch houses. That seems like a much, much safer plan. I don't think it's the house. I think it's the girl. Ukraina! mud on the floor. Yeah, we probably just tracked it in yesterday. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Where is she? Oh, this is not a good sign. Great, we came all the way down here and she's not even around. Something doesn't feel right. I'm so sorry, again, 
Uh, he used to know the family that lived here many years ago. Now he gets confused and forgets that they're no longer with us. Is he okay? Uh, yeah, he's fine. I'll just take him home. Wait, what is that? What is he holding? I don't know. Kun Sang, yip lai ma chak kun pu ying, ba khap. Puk her ni la, yip o ma chak ting nan la. He's not making any sense. I'm sorry again. No, why was he pointing at us? He said, you all took it from her. He knows something about this. I can feel it. Oh my God. Did you see the way he was pointing at us? It was like we did something wrong. It's that amulet, the one he was holding. Yeah, it's from the spirit house. Excuse me? When we first arrived, I snatched it from the spirit house. <laughs> I thought it looked cool. I don't know how he got it, though. The spirit house that is now full of dead flowers? Yeah, that one. All right, I'm going over there. He can help. What? No, Rachel, he doesn't even speak English. You heard him, he's insane. He's insane? Jules, we're having horrifying murder dreams, seeing little girl ghosts. I'm going over there, okay? I want this to stop. Creepy house across the way it is. Oh, it's you. How can I help you? I need to talk to that old man. Yeah, it's an emergency. I'm sorry, but he's resting now. Please, it'll only take a minute. You can translate. Excuse me. But this is very rude. Look, I know he barged into your house. I'm sorry, but he's not well. Please. I'm really sorry, but this is urgent. We need you to ask him about the previous owners of that house to see if there's a connection. Connection to what? To the amulet that he took, okay? And then there's this little girl statue that went missing, and I just need to talk to him, okay? I am not going to ask him anything about that. Oh, God, he said he'd help you. Thank you. The old house belonged to his brother Tiwa many years ago. Tiwa had a beautiful wife named Simon and a daughter named Wanida. Tiwa was a good brother and a good man. Simon was pregnant, and they knew they were going to have a son, which was something they had always wished for. But Simon was very ill. She had gone to see many doctors, but none of them could help her. <laughs> Tiwa was very desperate. He went to see a fortune teller in the village. Some people called her a witch. She was known for communicating with the dead. Her name was Isra. Tiwa asked her. Tiwa begged her to save the life of his wife and unborn son. He said he would do anything. She asked him if he would really do anything. Isra told him that he would have to trade one life for another, but they would have to come from the same bloodline. Tiwa realized that this meant that he would have to give up not only his own life, but that of his young daughter, Wanida. He did not want to do this, but he felt he had no other choice. Isra explained that there was a way to keep Wanida's spirit alive. He said if she was covered in the blood of a tortured human, Tiwa's blood, and then encased in gold, that her spirit would live on forever and could bring luck to her family. Tiwa agreed to do this, 
but his wife was not happy. But he could not let his wife and son die. She asked Tiwa not to do it, but Tiwa was determined to save his wife and unborn son, no matter what the cost. He asked me for a favor. He asked me to help with this ritual, to bring my tools and gold from my shop. I told him no, but he begged me. What could I do? The next day I went to his house with my supplies. We went down to the basement, down to hell. She was so small too easy to kill. When it was done, we went upstairs to get someone. When I entered the room, I saw her. It is an image I cannot shake. There she was, hanging from the rafters, the beautiful, pregnant Simone. She had hung herself. Everything had gone wrong. The ritual was for nothing. Isra warned me that the child's spirit would now be restless. Her death in vain. So we created the amulet. and placed it in the spirit house so that her spirit would not be free to enter the world until now. The statue in the house, it's Vanita, the little girl, and you made it and you killed her? Yes. How can we stop her? She is what she is. She's what we made her. Gumari cannot be stopped. There must be something we can do. wants you to have this. Thank you. Will this help? We should go. him to. And we can't just leave. You heard what he said. The girl is after us. You could have said no. We wouldn't be in this nightmare. It's not that easy. These rituals are real to them. He probably thought he was really helping. Are you serious right now? He killed Vanita. He sliced her open, drained her blood, and covered her in gold. Like a doll. And for what?
there. It's done. It's with the salt now. Saw it on TV. ฉันอยากจะพักผ่อนแล้วนี่ยังเมื่อทำอะไรอยู่อีกล่ะฉันบอกให้หยิบยาไม้หน่อยได้ไหม จริงเหรออาแสงเรียกฉันว่าอะไรเนี่ยอาแสงไงยังเป็นอาของหนูไม่ใช่หรือฉันไม่รู้เรื่องอย่าบอกนะอาลืมหลานตัวเองแล้ว
What is wrong with that? Hey, let's not talk about it right now, okay? We need to leave this country. I think get on a plane. Everyone, go pack. I'm, I'm, I'm... Julia, just go pack! All right! door there. Come on, Rach, it's just a closet. Let's go. It's the basement. Look familiar to anyone? Oh God! <laughs> I dreamt this. <gasps> so did I. I know it's redundant, but me three. Alex, this isn't funny. No one said it was. wasn't it? That's impossible. <laughs> the bloody clothes. What bloody clothes? In my room, I found them. I didn't know what to do. I'm just... us. You're wrong. It started out as us. Then you two put your ambulance on. Then it's just me. Finally free. <laughs> Alex, what are you doing? Showing you what I can do. What are you talking about, Alex? Your witch is dead. I smashed her fucking face in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and the nurse did him too. Oh, and the old man, well, you guys were there for that. <laughs> that, that was fun. Oh Good job, Julia. I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Alex, we're your family. You're not my family. 
babe. What's going on? Just about to go to sleep. Alex, what's up? Alex, you alright? What's going on? Something happened to Julia. You need to fly out here right away. Thank you.